Hey there everyone in YouTube land, this is Mac and welcome to Metal Lancer Gaming. Before we start, please help a growing channel out. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment if you want, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any content. Also, if you want to help out a bit more, please donate at PayPal. The link is in the description and every little bit helps. Thank you. Now, today we're going to be playing Mars Warlogs which is another game from my uh, rather extensive uh, GOG library and it's uh... well to be honest it's my first time playing it I mean about, about a year and a half two years ago I bought a lot of games off of GOG and never played like almost half of them so, so this one we're gonna be learning uh, we're gonna be learning together you're going to be learning right along with me. Except, you know, I don't think this is going to be like Exanima because, well... Eh, we're going to go easy this time. Well, first time. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's load. See what's going on. I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. Hmm. I was a teenager, All right. and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do yeah, things. Yeah, he looks like Sheldon Cooper. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then, I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days. Men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches. Stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Yeah. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight Officers of the suck. and cried like babies. Most of them, back anyway. The there are a few good ones out there, but most of them are assholes. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Hmm. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home.
You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up. Even if all we had was sand. Lengthy opening cutscene. And it's supposed to be an action RPG, I do believe. Get a load of these fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, this just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. Yeah, you got a real pretty mouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Huh? Huh? What do you want? Can't go your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Hmm. Uh oh. <clears throat> hey, you just won't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. <sighs> What's that? Speak up! Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Hmm. Uh, huh. What are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. <laughs> Forget it, guys. Yeah, he's this sensitive. Uh -huh. I don't want to catch what he's got. for the help his name is innocence okay it's history forget it i wasn't gonna just stand here and watch him how are you doing better it's weird I, I feel better than i have in a while thanks again i told you to forget it you still in shock or what listen if you're feeling better let's get moving you're an easy mark here we gotta go i'm good I'll follow you. Hey, glowies. Scavenging stuff. All right, nice. Kid's name is Innocence. <laughs> And another glowy. Oh shit, this stuff is finished. I'll never be able to fix it here. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. 
You just seem to be spinning your wheels, is all. <laughs> Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump, and I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. Of course I'm it is. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? <laughs> if you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man. Pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise around here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum. Uh, hold on, let's check. Uh, let's check over here again. See if uh, see if there's anything we could grab. Mm, nope. All right. Let's see what else there is to see around here. Still wet, cause I'm gonna ride a rod. Mm. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we've decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, uh, time okay. to teach you some manners, darling. <laughs> Live and learn. Controls to get used to. I like them. That took care of business. Hey there! Stop that right now! 
now, you worms. You looking to get roasted or what? Take these hmm. wrecks to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. <sighs> It's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. Hmm. You... You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy. And yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Virtue okay. names, huh? Okay. I guess Temperance doesn't that fit. That explains it, I guess. Yeah. Let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay. I'm right behind you. Oh, hey, cool. Okay. Yeah, let's see if there's anything to scavenge around here. Alright. Yeah, I like the way the uh, health bar regenerates. That's nice. Huh. New level. Let's see what we got here. Huh? Forgetting I'm still new at this. All right, what do we got here? Eh? Oh wait. I'll go with that. Okay, skills are right. Let's see now. Hmm. Kind of bit. Okay. Deadly shadow. Yes. Attacks from behind. Plus fifty more. De nice. Okay. Okay, cool. Nope. All right. I guess I'll do for now. Okay, gotta go to the mess hall. Ok. 
Okay. All right. Now I know where to go. Just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Huh, thanks. Cracked tube, huh? All right. Okay, I'll take that. Sounds good to me. Scavenge. Hey Roy, I don't know what you did, but Bob was looking for you a couple minutes back. He's on guard in the next block. Guess he wants to talk to me about the fat guy. Thanks for the info. No problem. Later. quite yet. Uh, let's see if I can find... Hey! Glowy! Scavenging time! Hardware. More hardware. Okay. Okay, I gotta go talk to Bob. Now I know where to find Bob. Yeah, what about Bob? Yeah, I think this is the way to find Bob. Maybe. Head, huh? That's so weird. I never saw a dog attack like that before. Yeah, that's strange. Looks rabid. Hmm. I'll have to talk to the kennel master. Thanks for helping out, Roy. We'll take over now. 
Good to know. Okay, that'll work. Sorry, the dog attacked you, really? I don't understand. Usually the guy that takes care of them trains them really well before letting them go. And by the way, I heard you kicked ass with that fat guy in his game. It's true. And to be honest, he got off easy. You know, even if my comrades had to get involved, I really think most of them are glad you did what you did. I know that even with you people, this guy would have ended up in front of a firing squad. But here you're prisoners of war. And playing cop, <laughs> not your role really. Even if that guy is a real bastard who should have never been in the army. If I understand right, you're happy but you think you've got to preach to him. You know what that fat bastard wanted to do to me, right? I know. Fat bastard. Responsibility. Uh. Listen, I don't want to intrude, but I just couldn't let him do it. Forget it. I understand. I don't even know what I'd done myself. If they'd gotten him, he'd have been sent down the hole. It cost him. He'll be in the infirmary for a while, and with a bit of luck, it'll calm him down. You know, I've been there. I might have helped you. Working off steam, you know? Thanks for your understanding. We're going. Right. And stay out of trouble in the future. Yeah. Staying out of trouble in a prison camp. Okay. Hey, another glowy. Nice. See what's going on. Uh, another glowy. All right. What do we got? There's any more glowies around here? Hey, there's a glowy. All right. Get out of here. Why? What are you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Tin serums or whatever they are. All right, let me take a look. At, uh, let me take a look at something here. See if I can craft anything. Eh? Nope, not quite. So you finally taught the fat guy a lesson, huh? Ah, that fucking vermin, good one. Hey, Roy. So, I heard you took that fat guy down. Yeah, he asked for it. 
So the kid and me gave it to him good. Hey, good one, buddy. You too, kid. That fat pile of shit had it coming. Absolutely right on, guys. All right. Hey, another glowy. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at here. Okay. All right, we're almost in the mess hall. down here well something's down here yeah another glowy nice yeah more scrap metal all right <laughs> better nothing This is better than nothing. Hmm. Wait, what? Ah. Uh-huh. Okay, there I am. Yeah, don't need to go to the sand pit yet. You can go to the chow hall. The mess hall. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I get turned around. Oh well, it happens sometimes. There we are. Somewhere quiet. Here we are. It's not five star, but it's safe. No one fights in the mess. Now we can talk in private. What did you want to talk to me about? Keep your voice down. This is a sensitive matter. I'm planning on breaking out of here. It'll be tough doing it on my own. Probably impossible, but. With what happened, I thought you might want to get out. I... Th this sounds like a dream. Do you have a plan? I've been working on this for a while. But I'm gonna need you and it's gonna take some balls. Sure you're up for this? Of course. I don't like being locked up any more than the next guy. If my first day is any indication of what's to come, you know... Good, then listen up. This place is here for a reason. Crumbling wall, guards who don't give a shit, and surrounded by desert. But if you're outside when the sun rises, you'll bake in your boots right before your eyes melt. 
I get it. Then how are we doing this? There's only one way. We have to steal the train that brings the prisoners here. But that's a... I mean, you're tough and all, but how can you pull something like that off? I want you to volunteer to work for the electric station in camp. You'll use the job to check out how they protect the train, everything about it. And once you get the info, with a little luck on my end, I'll have picked up some weapons. All that we'll have left to do is break in, knock out the electric barriers, and we're out of here. But we already have weapons, don't we? These toys aren't gonna do much against armed guards. They got armor. We need guns, at least. And I've hmm. got a good idea how we're gonna get them. Shit, guys! It's hitting the fan down there! Those abundance bastards sent some of our boys back in pieces again! Holy shit! Are they dead? If they're not, they're as good as. Bet those assholes are gonna come back with their sign-up speech again. More food if you go down do some cleaning. Yeah, except it's more food for those fucking bugs. Thanks, but I'll give it a miss. They can do their own cleaning. Hmm. Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What? What are they talking about? The drilling well keeps getting overrun by moles. And because the grunts have better things to do than get rid of the vermin themselves, they send prisoners in with weapons to take them out. I'm gonna volunteer. Might better go with you to the recruitment office. It'll also give me a chance to sign up for a special detail. All right. I'll ask to be assigned to the power plot. Just get them to believe that you've already done that kind of work. Then we'll fly. Come on, let's go. find the recruitment office okay I guess I gotta go to the crater all right Okay. Okay, does this say... Yeah, gotta go. Crater zone, eh? Kind of reminds me a bit of Red Faction. Kind of. What did you do before the war? I, 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 I nothing sp 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 special, sir, sir, sir. Great. Look, answer yes or no. It'll go faster. You good with your hands? N not, not, not real. I said yes or no. 
Can you write? N n no, S Sarge. All right, buddy. Look, I'll put you in the kitchen and you'll peel boots. That'll do just fine. Next. First name, last name, former job. Innocent Smith. I was a student before the war. I mean, I was training to be an electrician. Innocent? I sure look like your name, kid. For once. Anyway, can't say that's a good idea around here. You might just lose your innocence the hard way. Wanted to be an electrician, huh? Don't look like you got your hands on too many wires, if you ask me. You sure you know what you're doing? Yes, well, it's true that I don't have a lot of experience yet, but I was training. Hmm, well, you sure look like a rookie to me. But anyway, we got a power plant here. You can learn on the job. Next. Poor kid. Those Aurora bastards take him young. First name, last name, for... Hey, you're not new. Roy Defiance or something like that. Temperance, actually. But don't sweat it. I never got used to it either. Hmm. <laughs> what do you want? Didn't we already give you something to do? Yeah, you did. I unload equipment crates. But I heard you need more people for the cleaning. Yeah, that's true. And you're good at fighting, right? They say you kicked the shit out of the fat guy. Can't say he didn't deserve it, though. You know, the last guys who went down there didn't come back in good shape, right? I know, but moving crates is boring me shitless. Some action would be a nice change. Very well. I'll reassign you. Go talk to the guards at the top of the drilling wall. But don't come bitching to me if you're missing an arm when you come back up. Next. Hmm. Okay, at least now I know where to go. But before we go, I'm gonna see if there's any uh, see if there's any glowies around here. Too bad of an ouch, but still. What is wrong with them? That's the second I've seen attack for no reason. We already had to kill one near the sand pit. And I had to put down two more in the kennel. God damn. The one that attacked me earlier had filmy eyes, just like this one. And I've never seen those kind of patches on a dog. Me neither, but I also noticed those patches huh. on the animals I had to put down. I'll check the other dogs, but it's kind of worrying. It looks like they caught something. Could it be an epidemic? What if it can be passed on to humans? Just when I thought this place couldn't get any worse. It is. All the more reason to find out what we can about this disease. Nothing to do there right now. It'd just get me in a heap of shit. 
Hmm. So, any news? It's getting worse here. Even though I isolated the dogs completely, I really think they're all gonna die anyway. Nothing for now. I'll come back when I know more. Hey, all right, glowy. Okay, got hardware. Dogs look like giant cockroaches. Ugh. Roy, you're really going to fight those creatures? It, it sounds pretty dangerous. Yeah, those moles are serious shit, but don't worry. I'll have a gun, and I won't be alone. Why are you taking the risk? I mean, to escape. They'll let us go someday, won't they? Probably, but... It'll take months, if not longer. Hmm. I already had to live in a cage, and I swore I'd never go through that again. I've already been here way too long. I was just waiting for someone I could trust to show up. All right, I'm going. You try and find out as much as possible about how the plant works. We'll meet up again this evening. All right. And, um, good luck. Alright. Wow, this is uh something, that's for sure. Trying to break out of the prison camp, all that stuff. Go ahead and save it for now. And yeah, I think that'll actually do it for right now anyway. Definitely gonna come back to this game. Not sure exactly when. I got a few more on my on my plate before I do that, but Anyhow, y'all take care of yourselves. You'll stay safe out there. It's, uh, still got this pandemic going on, even though it looks like we might be in the in the home stretch, maybe. But you know, we'll see about that too. Anyways, y'all take care of yourselves, and this is Max signing off. <laughs>